Mission and welcome to our next instalment of Crafty Home Hacks. Now today I'm not really an embroiderer as such but I'm <laughs> sure not everyone is either but using an embroidery hoop and some wool I'm going to show you in a few simple steps how to create something magical and dreamy like a dream catcher so make sure you guys stay tuned. I have got a great idea. Have you? <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah, I mean, I love the ombre effect that we get with this kind of wool. So I bought three different sizes, three different um, colours as well, but all complementary at the same time. Really gorgeous shades, love yeah. those. And I don't really like embroidery, <laughs> but I seem to have accumulated some of these hoops and I thought, what am I going to do with them? Well, yeah, I'd love to see what you create. Well, I think, you know, lots of people nowadays are into dream catchers, things like that, or even just something that is a simple wall hanging that just brightens yeah. up a really oh, yeah. wall. So I'm going to use this wool, and I'm going to use this embroidery hoop, and I'm going to hope that it all comes together <laughs> to make something cool. <laughs> Excellent. Can't wait to see what you create. Let's get on with it. I love how quick and easy this is going to be and how cost effective it is as well. So this is an embroidery hoop. If you're not into your embroidery or sewing, do not worry, just go and buy one anyway. And what I love about this is that there are two hoops in it. So actually, if you pull it apart by just loosening this bit at the top, you get two lovely little hoops out of it. So you get two options for making two different dream catchers here. And I'm gonna make one today and uh, we'll see how that one goes first and we'll look at another design. So I'm gonna put the one that's a little bit, got the fastener on it to one side and I'm gonna use the one that's a perfect hoop just here. So what we wanna do, put that to one side for the moment, is look at the types of wool that we're going to use. Now, I've actually got some interesting types of wool here because they're different sizes. So not only are they different colors, but we've got different thicknesses of the wool. And I think that's gonna give it a nice little you know, depth effect to it as well. So what I originally wanted to do was create a slight ombre effect. So I've kind of gone with the blues and then, and that's kind of a teal as well, into a nice kind of white, which is gonna sit in the middle. So what you wanna to do to start off with is look at how big your hoop is. So mine's about the size of my head. And um, think about how long you want the pieces of wool to be. So you can either hang it over, dangle it down, and always cut a little bit more than you need. So I'm looking at about that size. If you look at that, that's about 30 centimeters. So double that up because it obviously needs to go through. Bear in mind that when you loop it in, you're gonna lose a bit of the length. So if you're concerned about that, then make sure you have a little bit more to it as well. And then it's as simple as getting some good scissors and giving it a snip. And what I'm gonna do is do the same for about all of these and probably cut about eight lengths for each of them. And then it's about attaching it next. So here we've got our eight different lengths in lots of different lovely colors. And you can see how they kind of all go together as well, which is quite nice. So I'm just going to start, I've got one here already, by looking at it and putting it about halfway through. And you're gonna lay it over the top and you're gonna take the longer bits and loop them through the bottom. And, oh, and that creates a really simple, easy little knot like that. So I'm just gonna do that for about, I think maybe another two of the darker ones, a few more of the uh, lighter blues and then only a couple for the middle as well. Okay, so this is your outer layer. Um, this is the thickest uh, yarn that we've got or wool that we've got. So I've just done two lots here because remember they do obviously double up. So it's looking good so far. Let's carry on. So that's 
the next section done, the blues. Now I've, do I've doubled up on the amount that I've used here. So we've gone two and then four. So we get eight little strands there. So now it's time for the middle bit. <laughs> So this is what it looks like so far, which is looking good in itself. Um, as we can see on the outside, I've used two bits of the thicker yarn. I then, as we've got thinner, I've used four bits, and right in the middle, I've used eight bits of the uh, wool because it's the thinnest type of wool and we still wanna be able to see the color. I love how the effect is just getting that little bit of ombre into it, which is really on trend at the moment. And I think bar a little bit of haircut, this might nearly be done. I mean, it really is super quick. Okay, so with our wonderful, I can't stop stroking it. It's quite so therapeutic and weird. Um, so we've got our wonderful little bits of wool hanging down now. It does need a little bit of a haircut and I'm gonna show you a handy tip as to making this look a bit neater. So you want to just spread it all out here. And if you're worried about getting a straight line as you're cutting it, I would actually use some masking tape. Um, so I'm gonna cut a triangle into the bottom just to give it that kind of clean effect. But to do that, I am going to get a little bit of masking tape, just tear it off, doesn't need to be precise. Um, and just place it where you want the cut to be and then get another one and do the same on the other side. And all that means is that you've got a guideline for where to cut and everything is being held together. So because I'm showing you guys, it's a little bit of an awkward angle for me, but you can obviously do it so it's the best way for you to cut. So I'm just gonna snip down here on that end and then just finish it off here. Remember, you really do need some good scissors for this, just to make sure that you get the right kind of cut. And then I'm gonna go back up this way. Oh, last one. And then when I lift it off the table, I quite like that I've managed to stick this masking tape down on the table because it has held it in place. And check that out. Look at that nice clean lines that we get from my little dipped arrow effect there. So it's almost done. The final thing that I need to do now is just create a little bit of a loop at the top and I'm just gonna get some leftover um, larger wool and I'm gonna do the same thing again where you just loop it in and put the two longer bits through to create that loop so it holds. And then depending on where you wanna hang it, you just tie it up the other end. So there we go. And I think before I go and catch some Z's and get some nice sort of dreams going, I'm gonna go and show Emily. Come on then, <laughs> I wanna see it. I'm really excited about this. Oh good, okay. Cheap, easy, effective. Tick, 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 Love tick, it. tick. Look at that. Oh my God, oh my Isn't God. That cute? It's so gorgeous. So simple, wow. loving the color, I mean, Again, families can make this together. If totally. you're stuck on a rainy day, this goes perfect in a windowsill, perfect just to fill in a gap in a wall as Absolutely. well. Absolutely, and so on trend as well. Yeah. Loving these colors. I know, forget macrame. I know, it's right? It's all about this. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully it'll give you some nice dreams as well. Absolutely, and um, I've actually got something to show you. Always wanting to do a bit of one-upmanship, isn't she? <laughs> Come on then. <laughs> um, so I had a little go myself. Oh my goodness. And I've created this one. Oh, I love it. So, you know, I love those little tassels <laughs> at the top. Yeah, so I added a little extra bit of fringing at the top, which I thought was nice. And then I really love the pink and the mustard colour together. And it's obviously slightly smaller. Oh, I love it. But they could go together on the wall. Oh, hang on. Hang on a second. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I'm seeing what <laughs> you're seeing, girl. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, we've got a little bit of pink <laughs> and we got a little bit of blue. So great for a little nursery as well. I'm just gonna put my face in here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's a bit small. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy 
enjoyed our really, really simple, easy little home hack to make a dream catcher of dreams. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> and if you really enjoyed it, make sure you like what you see, please. If you've got any comments at all, just leave them in the box down below. Any questions, anything like that, we'd love to hear from you. Yes. And don't forget, please subscribe. Please, please, please. And don't forget to share it with your friends as well. All the friends need to know this. Everyone needs to know how to make one of these really, really easily. <laughs> but for now, thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs>